Hey everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to the channel and another edition of Farm Truck Friday. I filmed, in, I filmed this outside earlier <coughs> this afternoon, but or Thursday. You're watching this on Friday morning, so yesterday, Thursday. And just didn't take some, having to do it here in the house Thursday night. So enough of all that mumbo jumbo. So let's just get started with our prayer list this week. The first one is for Lauren at Making It Home. Uh, Lauren posted a video earlier this week that uh, she was just sick, wasn't feeling good, running a fever, just had a case of the blahs. So uh, let's just pray for Lauren and hopefully whatever she's got goes away soon. Uh, the next one is for Tiffany and her family at Canadian Family Life. They've got a life issue going on that's affecting the family so we just want to lift them up uh, and hope that uh, the issue that they're going through uh, gets uh, that they get it figured out soon the next the next two are actually new to me channels and the first one is called Janae if I say that correctly J-E-N-N-A-Y uh, but she's wanting prayers for her sister Christine, uh, and, and her and Christine's on a, a feeding tube, has to have another surgery. Uh, so we just want to pray for all that, that whatever whatever it is that get, gets fixed. Uh, but also Christine has two daughters, so we we just want to pray for them as well. As I said, the, uh, had had two new to me channels. So the next one is Mama Bear. Uh, Christine, two different Christines, uh, and I'm not sure how her injury happened, but she says she has nerve pain and uh, muscle pain, so let's just pray that uh, Jesus touches her body and that, that pain goes away soon. The next one is for Jack at Dyer Family Farm. Jack posted a video saying he had a surgical procedure earlier in the week, so we just want to pray for uh, quick healing and recovery uh, on, on that procedure. And then last but not least, <clears throat> you know, over the past two weeks, the, the Midwest and the South, you know, well, I guess even Oregon, because I got people out there, you know, just the, the weather is wreaking havoc across this country. Uh, people are being inundated with rain, uh, just flood after flood, some with high winds, you know, some with tornadoes. Uh, and that's what this one is, and that's for Josh at the uh, Sherman Family Farms. Uh, Josh's place was just wiped out. Uh, just, I won't say complete devastation, but, you know, it's a, a lot of damage. So we just want to pray for Josh and his family that uh, God's with them when they try to rebuild. And, and I know some, because these are new, uh, some of them are smaller channels. I'll put a link to all the channels in the description. So uh, if you don't know them, go visit them. Because we need to stick together in this world. Uh, our governments could care less about us. Uh, that, that, that's shown in every time they take a vote. Uh, the, the, they could care less about the people. So we have to stick together as God's children. And, and that's why I like to pray for us. Because we need to be sticking together. We need to be praying for each other. So, saying all that, let's go to the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, again, Lord, just uh, thank you for being that loving Father you are. Lord, we thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. So, Lord, I just come to you humbling myself, Lord, just asking for your help with my brothers and sisters, my fellow YouTubers, and their families. So, Lord, I just lift up Lauren to you and whatever's calling her, causing her not to feel good, whatever's causing her to run a fever, Lord, I just pray that you touch her, that you heal her of whatever that issue is. Lord, the life issue going on with Tiffany and her family, Lord, just be with them and guide them through that process. So that the turmoil they're going through has a great outcome that is pleasing to them. But Lord, we lift up 
the first Christine to you. Lord, we pray that the doctors that are working on her and her feeding tube and her upcoming surgery, Lord, we just pray that you give them the knowledge to do your will and to heal Christine so that she can come back home to her two kids. And Lord, we just lift them girls up to you. Just comfort them as, as their mother is in the hospital. But Lord, we also lift up Mama Bear Christine to you. Lord, I don't know what the injury was, but you know, Lord, you can heal that nerve pain. You can heal that muscle pain. So Lord, we just lift up Mama Bear to you and pray that she looks to you for healing. As well with Jack. His surgical procedure is over with. But the healing process is still there. The recovery process is still there. So Lord, we just pray that you're with Jack. With his wife, Dina. Because Lord, we know through you. All things are possible. So we just ask for the healing. On all these we've asked for so far. And last but not least, Lord, just be with Josh. Be with Josh's family as they try to recover from that storm that was so devastating to their property. Lord, we pray that during this rebuilding process that they continuously look to you for guidance. And that's what we all need to be doing. We all need to be looking to you for guidance. Because this world we live in is tough. This world we live in is crazy. It's chaotic. But because of you and through you, we have hope. So Lord, I pray everyone that's listening to this video today, that they look to you for that hope. And we just pray all this in the holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. So, it's been a busy week. You know, it just seems life's getting to be more and more of a struggle for more and more people. And not just in our country around the world the world needs more Jesus Christ Jesus Christ doesn't need us but he wants us and but we need him and we should want him so I pray that if you don't have a relationship with him I hope you get one soon I hope y'all have a blessed day today, a blessed weekend, and an even better week next week. So until we get back together, y'all take care, and God bless.